Pastos Biology Topics from the Study Guide Let's begin by removing the dura mater. Now in this sheep brain it's already been removed so it's just sitting there on top of the brain. Notice it's very tough and durable. A partition of the dura extends between the cerebrum and the cerebellum. It's called the tentorium cerebelli, and this is particularly difficult to remove. On the underside of this part of the dura, you can see the tentorium cerebelli. Part of the underside of the dura extends between the two cerebral hemispheres. This is the falx cerebri, not shown in this view. Likewise, it's difficult to remove the portion of the dura found underneath the brain. The second layer is the arachnoid. It looks like a thin, smooth covering of plastic wrap over the brain. Here some of the arachnoid has been peeled away from the underside of the brain. Visible on the dorsal side of the brain is the cerebrum, the cerebellum, the two cerebral hemispheres are divided by the longitudinal fissure. The bumps are gyri, gyrus singular, and the grooves are sulci, or sulcus singular. Each cerebral hemisphere has four lobes, the frontal lobes, the parietal lobes, the occipital lobes, and on the sides, the temporal lobes. On the underside of the brain are the prominent olfactory bulbs and extending backwards from them a lateral uh, olfactory tract and a medial olfactory tract. Here is the pituitary gland which is usually removed when the dura is removed, the pons, and the medulla. And this is the spinal cord. This is an optic nerve broken when the dura was removed. Not easily seen are the optic tracts and the optic chiasma where the optic nerves cross. Here is the mammillary body, the infundibulum which appears as a whole, the cerebral peduncles, the pons, and the medulla. If we bend the cerebellum downward, we see the corpora quadrigemina consisting of the superior and inferior colliculi. Just dorsal to the corpora quadrigemina is a medial structure, the pineal gland. If we probe down into the longitudinal fissure, we'll come to a massive band of white matter, the corpora quadrigemina, connecting the left and right cerebral hemispheres. In this sagittal view, that's one of the cerebral hemispheres. There's the olfactory bulb, a gyrus called the cingulate gyrus, and there's the corpus callosum. If we look at the cerebellum, we can see the white matter inside the arbor vitae. In another view, we see the corpus callosum, the pons, the hypothalamus, 
and the midbrain. This round structure is the intermediate mass of the thalamus, and around it is a very shallow depression, the third ventricle. Between the cerebellum and the brain stem is a roughly triangular space, the fourth ventricle, connected by the cerebral aqueduct to the third ventricle. In this view, you also see the corpora quadrigemina and the pineal gland. If we make an incision into the cerebrum and remove the section, we get a rather nice view of the internal white matter and the surrounding gray matter, the cerebral cortex.